The movie starts with a researcher at the Vatican Observatory discovering that a comet's falling fast to the Earth. The priest realizes the doom this represents and immediately summons the rest of the council to announce the findings from his recent studies on Revelation, chapter 8 of the Bible to the Pope. And the falling comets, a.k.a. a star fell from heaven to earth, would imply the blowing of the fifth trumpet, and to him was given the key to bottomless pit. When the sixth trumpet is blown, the devil was freed from the bottomless pit and wreaked havoc upon the earth. Meanwhile, on the other side of the story, an American diplomat, Robert, rushes up to the Catholic hospital in Rome. He's informed by the head priest, Father Spiletto, that his wife, Kate, just had a miscarriage. Father Spiletto then tells him that his wife's womb is damaged, meaning she won't be able to give birth to any more children. In attempt to mend their broken hearts, Father Spiletto brings him an orphaned child and advises him to adopt. Later that morning, the grieving couple lovingly embrace the baby, but Robert doesn't disclose the secret adoption as the priest instructed. They raise the baby like their own for years to come, and they name the child Damien. Robert, who works as an official at the American Embassy in Rome, has later made the deputy ambassador to the United Kingdom after his superior, Stephen. Therefore, he must relocate his family from Rome to London. But just so happens, that very day on Stephen's way to an emergency meeting, he gets stuck in traffic. At the same time, a homeless man accidentally knocked a wheel stopper aside, consequentially sending a tanker truck rolling down into the street. The tanker truck collides with the ambassador's limo. Even worse, the spilled gasoline makes contact with the cigarette stub, and an explosion happens. Three months after Stephen's horrifying death, Robert steps into Stephen's office as the new ambassador to Great Britain. Skip to two years later, the couple throws a party to celebrate Damien's fifth birthday. During it, we get introduced to the nanny, who notices a black dog watching the party from afar. Right after, the nanny heads to the roof and proclaims that she's doing all this for Damien before throwing herself off the ledge and gets hung to death. As the guests panic, Robert scoops his son up to shield him from the sight, but Damien appears unfazed and simply waves at the dog. As Robert is a public figure, the news about the nanny suicide doesn't go unnoticed. A priest from Rome called Father Brennan asks to see him. Once face to face with Robert, the priest frantically informs him that his son, Damien, is the devil's offspring and claims that he was there at the hospital the night Damien was born. Father Brennan claims that he participated in how Robert was given another child as his son. Brennan also saw Damien's mother, whom he claimed wasn't human, but instead a jackal. Because all this sounds insane, Robert has the man escorted out of the facility immediately, and it turns out Keith the photographer happens to be there as well, taking pictures of the priest. When Robert returns home, he accompanies his wife in interviewing a new nanny named Mrs. Baylock. The couple finds her impressive and hires her immediately. Meanwhile, on the other side of the city, Keith the photographer decides to print the pictures he took today and saw a strange line stretching above Father Brennan's head. On the next day, Kate is all dressed up to attend the previous nanny's funeral and asks for Mrs. Baylock to fetch Damien. The nanny, however, claims that Damien is feeling under the weather and therefore is not fit to go out. Kate doesn't believe this and makes Damien go to church with them, seeing the symbols of Christ on church towers. They begin to haunt Damien on the way, and upon arrival, he suddenly goes feral and starts attacking his mom, injuring Kate as a result. This forces the family to drive away from the church as to not to cause a scene in front of the reporters. They return home immediately, and Robert spends the evening dressing up the cut on Kate's forehead. That night, Kate has a nightmare about lying in the bathtub with her wrist slit and Damien menacingly standing right across from her. On the other side of the house, Robert walks into Damien's room to find a dog growling at him. Mrs. Baylock then steps in and orders it to stop. Apparently, she and Damien found the dog roaming around the premises. Hearing this aggravates Robert, who orders Mrs. Baylock to get rid of the dog immediately. 
The following day, Kate accompanies Damien on a field trip to the zoo, and here we see that the monkeys are acting hostile toward the child. Like a creep, Damien stares at the monkeys and cockily murmur that the monkeys are afraid of him. When his mother tries to carry him away, all of the sudden, one of the gorillas charges at the enclosure glass, as if eager to attack the child. The mortified Kate breaks down when she recounts the story to her husband that night, and although she feels bad for saying this, she is convinced there is something off about Damien. Later that night, Robert is attending a church function, right when Father Brennan approaches him. The priest quickly mentions a time and place to meet up, claiming that Robert's wife is in danger. Plus, he says that would be the last time Robert would be seeing him. As the priest walks out of the building, Keith the photographer snaps more pictures of him. Once Keith gets home, he appears to be studying something fascinating in the latest pictures he took. On the next day, Robert agrees to meet with Father Brennan, and during this encounter, the priest asks him to seek out a man called Bugenhagen, because he is the only person who would know how to murder the child. Once again, the priest reiterates that Damien is the devil's son, and therefore must be terminated before he harms Robert's wife. According to Father Brennan, Kate is currently pregnant with another child, and Damien will ensure she doesn't give birth, which is why he was told by Father Spoleto that her womb was damaged. In other words, something was pre-planned from the start by the head priest and his group. Finding everything that the priest said absurd, Robert tells him to stay away from his family before stomping away. Once the priest is on his own, he suddenly hears an ominous voice coming from nowhere and starts running away in fear. He runs toward a church, but the door locks on its own before he could get in. And then, all of the sudden, a pole on the roof breaks and impales him, killing the poor man instantly. To Robert's surprise, when he arrives home, Kate suddenly informs him that she is indeed pregnant, confirming what the priest just told him. However, Kate wishes to have an abortion, because she doesn't want any more children like Damien. While Robert is away, Damien and Mrs. Baylock share knowing looks and glance at a scooter. Damien rides his scooter, while at the same time, Kate is watering the plants. Surprisingly, the scooter is used by Damien to knock his mother off the balcony. She hangs over the edge and asks for help, but the son simply watches until she slips and falls. Luckily, the mother survives, but they discover that she suffered a miscarriage from the accident. At the hospital, she whispers to Robert and begs him to protect her from Damien. When Robert gets home right after, he discovers that the dog he wanted to kick out is still in the house. But before he gets to do something about it, he gets a call from Keith the photographer, who promptly introduces himself. Keith claims to have something to talk about Robert and Father Brennan. Curious, Robert pays a visit to Keith's studio, where we see streaks of white light around pictures Keith took of the dead nanny and Father Brennan. He also has the priest's autopsy report and has learned that there is a birthmark on the inside of the priest's thigh of the numbers 6666. Afterwards, Keith takes him to the dead priest's underground hideout, where he stayed before he died. Here, Keith explains that the walls are covered in hundreds of Bible pages and crucifixes. Keith learned that the priest had been obsessing over a comet that fell five years ago on June 6th and kept newspaper clippings covering Damien's birth on that day at 0600 a.m. Keith also tells Robert that he thinks he's going to die next, because he found himself with the same streak on a picture he recently took. Since Keith wants to prevent himself from dying, he wants to make himself useful by helping Robert discover Damien's true origin. The two men then head to Rome to track down a nun, who used to work at the hospital where Damien was born. She has a burn scar on her face, as apparently, the hospital burnt down the same night Damien was born. While they make a lunch stop on the way, Keith points out the Bible passage that prophesied the birth of the Antichrist and explains how he will be born after the fallen star. Keith then decides that it makes sense that they picked Robert to be a part of this. Afterwards, they go ahead and meet Father Stiletto, whose face is now deformed from the fire. Robert then asks him who Damien's real mother is, to which he replies by writing down the name of an old cemetery north of Rome. The two drive up there, but are forced to find their way around on foot, 
because the cemetery gate is locked shut. After successfully entering it, they discover two graves of a mother and child, who died on June 6, five years ago, and proceed to unravel it. Inside, they find the rotting skeleton of a jackal, just like what Father Brennan had said. Now beyond curious, Robert unravels the second grave. Inside, he discovers the skeleton of his biological son with a hole in its skull, signifying that his wife didn't have a miscarriage, but rather the baby was murdered upon its birth. And then, all of the sudden, two dogs jump out of nowhere and lunge at them. They fight it off and proceed to climb over the fence before running away after sustaining a few injuries. Meanwhile, back in London, Damien and Mrs. Baylock decide to pay a visit to the hospital. The nurse initially refuses to let her in, but Mrs. Baylock begs to see Kate for just a few minutes. This is really reckless on the hospital's part, because the nanny proceeds to inject a fluid into Kate's intravenous line. She covers Kate's mouth when she tries to scream in protest. As a result, Kate's heart rate begins to spike as the fluid enters her system, and the nanny holds her down until the poor woman dies. The nanny then calmly walks away with Damien. Sometime later, Robert receives a devastating phone call informing him of his wife's death. And so, they head for Israel to find Bugenhagen, the man Father Brennan claimed to be the only one who knows how to stop Damien. Bugenhagen goes on and tells them the ritual on how to kill Damien, which involves a set of special knives. He sneaks into his own home and quietly arms himself with a pair of scissors. But then, the gush of wind caused by the thunderstorm outside causes a door to shut close, waking up the dog who instantly chases after him. Robert runs and tricks the dog into falling down an open hatch. He then goes upstairs into Damien's room, where the child is sleeping soundly. Curious whether there's any truth to Bugenhagen's words, he carefully snips Daniel's hair to try to find the 6666 birthmark. Well, he sees it right away. But all of the sudden, Mrs. Baylock lunges at him, and the two end up in a scuffle. Robert manages to knock her out and pick up Damien immediately. Without wasting any more time, he carries Damien away and pile inside the car, when suddenly, the nanny smashes a hammer against the windshield. She blocks the road, but can't block the car. Robert's police guards trails after the car as it is speeding like crazy. But Robert doesn't care anymore. He takes Damien inside the church and prepares to perform the ritual at the altar while more and more police cars are dispatched after him in the city. Robert holds the child down and prepares to stab him, but the police step in and shoots him dead before he gets the chance to. The next scene shows Robert's funeral. While back at the Vatican's headquarters, the Pope lies in his deathbed and passes away. The President of the United States of America attends Robert's funeral, holding Damien by the hand. The movie ends with Damien smiling devilishly into the camera, ready to wreak havoc as described in the Bible, and the movie ends. So that it is for this video, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye.